everything we're doing here is to insulate green so that it's so compliant it can't be stopped. We want to make green one of the most widely used projects in the world. And how we're going to do that is getting people to reverse stake their power bill. And so that when someone pays their power bill with green, they get a reward um, that's close to, equal to, or sometimes maybe even greater than the green that they spent to pay their power bill. There's a lot in development here that has been in development for a long time. The software itself has been in development for, you know, six and a half years. Um, the yeah. blockchain aspect of the software has been deployed in the nodes beta environment um, for three and a half years. Many blockchain projects are rushing to build value in a coin instead of being building value in the operations, instead of building value in the project. And so all of their press releases, all of their outward, like market facing, community facing messages talks about what they will do. Green is going to have a totally different strategy. When we start doing press releases here in the next 30 days, we're going to do press releases on what we have done. We're not going to have forward looking statements about all the great things that we promised to do. I've been involved in blockchain since 2016. Most of these projects that have been around since 2016 or 17, they haven't delivered on like even 5% of their roadmap and the things that they were promising their communities five years ago. They're not actually closer to deploying those things than they are today. Now, obviously that's not a statement across the board about all blockchain projects. Um, but we need to be really careful, right? But because there, because this is an environment where um, people have taken advantage of other people, right? Whether they promise something that they that they that they could deliver on, or whether and they had good intentions and they just failed, or whether they promised something that they never had any intention of delivering on, this is a fact. And so governments all over the world are extremely cautious when it comes to blockchain projects. We just have to be really conservative. Also, a lot of the information that you're asking for, you should have already, right? Like it should be published in a very transparent way for the whole world to see. And that's really what we're going to do over the next 90 days. And there's reasons why it hasn't been available. The brand wasn't ready to launch globally. And if we had published all of the information, um, there were other companies that were better positioned to launch this project than, than maybe we were. The creator's vision was to launch this four years into development on July 1st, on, on July 4th as the energy independent day, right? And that's what we're going to do. There's a great book I'd like everybody to read if you really want to follow what we're going to do in this project closely, and it's called Blitzscaling. And Blitzscaling talks about how you take a project in tech and you deploy it all over the world simultaneously. You see, there's a lot of big companies that have a lot of money, and when they see a project in a certain development stage, they take it and they deploy their resources in other countries bigger and faster. This has happened to huge companies like Uber. One of those key developments is the Switch credit card. We think that this is a game-changing idea. Uh, Ethereum just spent a lot of time and money moving from proof of work to proof of stake. And proof of stake is definitely more efficient than proof of work. But we believe what we have in proof of action is actually many more times efficient than proof of stake. If we time up our launch globally and we do it really meaningful, um, we will have a head start and it would be really hard for a lot of other projects to pivot and catch up to us.
That being said, in order to get listed on um, more wider exchanges to give the average person opportunities to participate in the project. And so we want to combine um, being transparent with our community and the people that have supported us to get to this point. Most of the hard work is done. The reason why I am here and why I believe in this project and first and foremost is based on how it was distributed. So there's no shortcut to organically distributing coins without an ICO, without a fork, without an airdrop. You literally have to just get people to go to a website and download the node and mine coins. And you have to do that slowly over time until a meaningful enough coins have been mined to create liquidity for others and to create transactions for the network. This has taken three and a half years to do and was done in full compliance of every single country that we're in because it was done the exact same way as Bitcoin. There has been no money raised for this project. There has been no ICO. This coin was not distributed on the back of another coin through an airdrop or through a fork. It has only been organically mined when someone downloads the software to a personal device or a virtual storage device exactly the way that Bitcoin was distributed for over eight years, right before it became like a large mining project. Now, because proof of work, because it, because that led that ledger, that chronological ledger becomes exponentially harder to mine and, 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 and store the data on it. 13 years later, I believe the creators of Bitcoin um, didn't intend